This may look like child's play, but there is a serious aspect to what these school children are up to. There are among 1,400 students at this event promoting the idea that science, technology, engineering, and math can be just as fun as it is necessary. I'm learning to make structures and to so when, when people when people need something, they can make something out of it. The University of Toronto's Applied Science and Engineering faculty teamed up with Google Canada to put on the one-day event. We hope that they come away really excited about innovation. They know that they're not just the leaders of tomorrow, they're the leaders of today. That they're excited about math, they're excited about technology, and really that everything that they're learning about today can be theirs. Ready? Three, two, one, go! The students learn to do some basic programming on these robots. The company that makes and sells them usually takes its robots, named Jade, to schools with an emphasis on getting more girls involved in science, engineering and math. That seemed to be working here. I think it's pretty cool how you can control it to go in any direction you want. The young students were clearly captivated by all the stuff crammed into this hall at the university's engineering building. It's, it's for everyone, everybody would learn. All I have to do is just have imagination. Do you like science? Yeah. yeah. What do you like about science? Uh, well, I like science because when you do science, anything can happen. You can make anything you want, and then it makes the world a better place. So I'm going to pull up some software here, which is going to take the images from that camera and uh, put them into the computer. 11-year-old Jordan Bogle sat for his portrait. So do you see yourself there? The idea here is to inspire the students with a 3D printed likeness of themselves. The whole process got Jordan thinking. My dad comes from Nigeria and my mom comes from Jamaica. And in those countries, they don't really have a lot of things there. So I can make a big difference if I make something like that. Big high-tech companies have been helping to fund initiatives like today's event. What we're hoping to do is just plant a seed. Just show them that there's so much potential in science and technology. Somewhere among this pandemonium in play, that seed may have taken. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.